Hello beautiful, welcome back and thanks for watching. Today we are talking all things Sephora sales. So I'm gonna have everything linked below for y'all just like normal in the description bar and the comment section based on the order that you see it on screen so it's really easy to shop. However, YouTube now has an affiliate program so there should be a little box that pops up right here. If you click on that, depending on what device you are watching this on, the box will either pop up um, here on the side if you are on your computer or it should be below if you're watching from a phone or tablet, but that should have everything listed in it. Um, but if it doesn't, this is just my first time kind of using it, so I'm not 100% comfortable with it, but everything is still gonna be linked, description bar, comment section like normal. I just wanted to tell you guys there is now an additional way to shop the things that I am talking about. So we will go ahead and get started. Just make sure you click the subscribe button here and let's talk details of this incredible sale. So the Sephora sale happens a couple times a year and it is a tiered sale. So you will either get 20%, 15% or 10% off within certain dates based on your status within the company. I will put all of the information up on the screen here for you guys to see. Um, you do need to use the discount code time to save and the easiest way to see what your status is within Sephora is to log into your account. Now the one thing that gets me about the sale is you're logged in, you see your discount, the whole nine. When you add things to your cart, you still have to manually go in and type in that discount code or you won't get it. There have been years past that I was like, checked everything out, I was like, all right, I'm good, got my 20% off, click buy, and then I realized I did not put in the discount code. So they will get you there if you are not careful. Make sure you put in that discount code. It's the same no matter what your status is. Time to save is the discount code. Make sure you do that, and then now we can actually talk products. So number one is, of course, the Dyson Airwrap. So I won't talk too much about this because I've talked about it for years and years, and I know it is still such a hefty price point, even at like 20% off. Um, as of right now, I believe it is still in stock like it was this morning, so when I filmed this, it's still in stock, but the Dyson Airwrap is so incredible. It now has additional attachments to it. They've kind of streamlined some of the things about it, like it no longer has a short barrel. There's only one barrel that has a little toggle at the top so you can change the airflow direction. It's a little bit nicer than the one that I have that I purchased in 2020. Um, when it was still very new. I love it. I love that it constantly measures the temperature of your hair so that it's not damaging your hair because that's actually why I bought it, the Revlon like one step volumizer dryer thing burned my hair to a crisp and I like had to cut my hair off after forever of trying to grow it out because it just stopped growing. It was so unhealthy. So after I found the Dyson Airwrap, it saved my hair and I have loved it ever since. So I did want to touch on that because it is like such a good one, but I do understand that it is a very, 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 very expensive hair dryer. The second product is really, so I have specifics from this brand, but I don't think you can go wrong with Paula's Choice at all. So the BHA is my favorite product of Paula's Choice brand. Um, it is a liquid exfoliant and there are a million and one benefits, but if you have like textured skin like I do or enlarged pores, blackheads, this is gonna be the product that really like packs a punch and makes a difference. You do have to be careful with in my experience, any of Paula's Choice products. Do not just start out, all right, I'm going all the way, I'm gonna use it every day. Ease into it because I find that those things are super powerful and they can actually have the reverse effect and really damage your skin. Um, there are a few other products. So when I'm done breastfeeding, I'm going to use the Polish Choice Retinol. I have used Retinol in the past, and one thing I saw in the review section when I was like going through and looking at it um, is a bunch of people were like, "Oh, I've used 1% Retinol before, and this is just super, super powerful, like way stronger than those." It is a very strong retinol, so be very careful, like patch test a spot on your skin, um, but that's the retinol that I'm using when I'm gonna be done breastfeeding. Retinol is the best, best skincare ever. Again, really good for so many things, but I love it for like texture and just anti-aging and so many things. And then they also have a great vitamin C um, moisturizer that I bought and I'm going to start using on a regular basis. I'm still in the ease you in process. Um, so I haven't seen like the full effects as far as like using it long-term, but Vitamin C has so many benefits, um, and so Polish Choice as a whole brand is incredible, but those are like the three that I'm gonna have linked below for y'all. This Rare Beauty highlighter is absolutely stunning. I love Rare Beauty stuff, especially any of their blushes or highlights. Um, their like cream blush is really beautiful, but this highlighter is just 
absolutely stunning. It can be subtle, it can be blinding. The color that I'm gonna link for y'all is the only one that I have tried, but I've heard so many people say so many good things about all of the colors. Um, I will say that this is a very soft product, so if you drop it, you're pretty much, it's lost. And I know that is like the case for most powder things um, or in compacts, but accidents happen and it's really frustrating because I was barely through my first little like tub of it and my son came in and like bumped into me, I dropped it and it went everywhere. So be very careful, but man, it is a beautiful highlighter. Beautiful highlight. Do you guys say highlighter or do you say highlight? Beautiful highlighter, that's what I would assume. <laughs> now I did mention the Polish Choice Retinol and that is a powerful one and you can of course ease into it if you've never used retinol. But if you're looking for a really good starting point, you're not sure retinol's for you, you're not sure it's something you want to incorporate, try out the Kiehl's. So I actually used this prior to getting pregnant with Ezra, it was the best my skin has ever looked. This is a milder retinol dose and you can use it every day. Um, retinol is best used at nighttime. You need to use SPF whenever you are going outside at all, inside, it doesn't matter. Like you need SPF on your skin every day, but especially if you are using a retinol. So make sure you're doing that. But um, I find that like retinol at nighttime is definitely the most powerful. You apply it first so that it really kind of like can pack its punch and do what it needs to do. Um, but this is a better, it's a, I'm not exactly sure what percent this one is, um, but it is just super, super powerful still and a great starting point if you're not sure if retinol is for you. I absolutely love my results from it prior to Ezra. I love the results the one month after I finished breastfeeding Ezra before I got pregnant with Roman, but um, so I've liked it. Anytime I have gotten to use it. The day styling cream is actually not something I was sure I was going to love, but I love, love it. So you know that like super slick back style of hair, just like flat to your head, very sleek, is on trend right now. And I was not sure that was gonna be like the thing for me, but I do really like it, especially now that I'm going through postpartum hair loss. Um, I find that it's just so easy to tame, but the day styling cream is actually great for just random flyaways. So that styling cream is how you're going to be able to achieve that super sleek bun, super sleek ponytail look. Um, a little bit goes a long way, and I feel like it does a good job at making your hair look sleek but not oily and it doesn't make your scalp itch. So lots of good benefits to it. I have two of these and seriously, I don't even think I'm gonna like dip into the uh, second bottle for a while because it goes such a long way. But absolutely love the styling cream for those sleek bun days. Makeup Forever setting powder is absolutely incredible. I love this one. Um, it's the one I've been using pretty regularly whenever I want a just translucent setting powder that doesn't have a sheen to it, doesn't have any, it's just, it's a flat powder. It's just a good way to set your makeup and be done with it. Um, I do use the actual translucent color and it looks a little bit yellow if you look at the ad online, but it is actually like translucent. It doesn't come off yellow on your skin. It doesn't come off pink. Um, and a small, small amount is going to go such a long way. So the product itself is gonna last you a really long time too. This color corrector has got to be one of the most insanely incredible products ever. I have a newborn and an 18 month old. I've got the dark circles on a regular basis and I found out about this product from, I hope I say her name right, she's only on Instagram and she has a blog, Emily Gemma or Emily Gemma. Um, she's like the sweetest thing blog. Again, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but I love her makeup tips. She has the best skin, like best beauty tips of all time. And she actually was using this and I was like, hold on, wait, whoa, wait. What is this orange makeup that you're putting on? So she was applying it one day on her under eyes and then she went over it with a concealer. And I'll be dang y'all, it looks so good. Like it made her eyes just so much brighter because it kind of neutralized out and just got rid of those dark circles. And so the concealer could almost work even better. So I have been using this on a regular basis because your girl's just got the dark circles on her under eyes and it is incredible. And I will link what color Color. like I'll put what color I have in the description bar below, but you need to go based off of your skin tone because like I have um, pink undertones to my skin and if you have yellow undertones, you may not need the same color that I do. Estee Lauder foundation was my wedding day foundation. So anytime I see it on sale, I always like to mention it because it is so powerful. And I always say like my mom had her makeup on from Oh God, I think we got ready at like 10 in the morning and her makeup was still 
flawless at like 2 a.m. when everyone was like out having fun at the hotel and drinking at the bars and stuff. Like it just still looked so good. Um, I put mine on super early that morning and when I got home, I think it, it might've been midnight or one o'clock for me and my makeup looked flawless. And I did my own makeup and I didn't know near as much then about makeup as I do now. And it just still, it was like, I didn't need a ton of other stuff with my makeup. So I absolutely loved the way it looked, the way it finished um, on my skin. So I still use it sometimes now whenever I want a more full coverage look and it is on the Sephora sale. For a more day today, I absolutely love the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have talked about this nonstop on my Instagram. So um, I wanted to mention it here too. The color that I use most of the time is either like Yukon or Oslo, O-S-L-O, just kind of depending on if I have self tanner on or not. It is beautiful. You see light reflecting and you kind of are like, oh, I don't know about that. But it actually has a full coverage finish with a lightweight feel and I just absolutely love it. Like there is not a single time I put that on my skin that I'm not like, oh, I just love the way this foundation looks. So it is another really good one. If it comes to a wedding day or an event where you need your makeup to look like super, super powerful and just full coverage, go with Estee Lauder, but I love the NARS. All Faithful or as everyone else calls it, the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner. And if you follow me on Instagram or even here, you probably know for like three years running, that's pretty much been the only lip liner that I've used. I, from time to time will change. There's like some Morphe, some Revlon ones that I've been using recently, but I just always joke. I always go back to Old Faithful. It's the color pillow talk. It's beautiful. It um, stays really well on your lips for a very decent amount of time, but it doesn't feel like super matte and like sticky, but it is Old Faithful. I call it that for a reason. The color is Pillow Talk. It's absolutely incredible. So included on the sale, you absolutely need it. T3 as an entire brand. Like I could link my specific, I'll link my specifics for y'all, but I mean, there's not a thing there that I've ever tried that I don't love. I find that for T3, it's really dependent on what you need. So I have longer hair now and these, I mean, this is like three day old hair. So the curls are kind of starting to fall a little bit from where I've put them up in a clip a ton, you know, thrown in a wad on my head while I worked out and this and that. So the curls have fallen a little bit, but I really like these bigger, looser waves. So I've been using inch and a half um, curling irons versus where my like waves used to really stay a lot better and I would use the one and a quarter inch curling iron for those so I have showed how I curl my hair on my Instagram um, I don't think I have a tutorial here because the tutorials on YouTube never do good so I do that stuff kind of on my Instagram um, but their straighteners are nice their hot curlers are nice their blow dryers are nice so pretty much anything from t3 you can't go wrong with Another full brand is Living Proof. I mean, I have tried their regular dry shampoo, their advanced dry shampoo, that's what I have in my hair today, their heat protectant. Um, they have a like triple bond complex, kind of like hair serum that you put in your hair that can help um, split ends. It is all just so good. Living Proof is one of those brands that I feel that like every single thing that they make that I've tried, I love. Now I use a, like a custom shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty. So I've never tried their shampoos and conditioners. I have had some people ask that I share like what I've tried and think about their shampoos and conditioners, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. So um, that's why I haven't tried their shampoo and conditioner. But as far as their styling products, they are amazing. Like one of the best dry shampoos on the market, in my opinion, there's a few that I use, but that's like the one that I get. I would say that's my old faithful for dry shampoo. Um, so incredible. Their heat protectant's great. I just, I love their products. And actually, if you do look at kind of like the fine print, so a lot of their dry shampoos also have heat protectant in them up to a certain degree too. So you don't necessarily need to buy both, but um, it's just up to you. And again, what kind of products you need for your hair. The final thing that I wanted to mention is actually, so I don't use this on a regular basis because I don't need it on a regular basis, but whenever I am in the first trimester of pregnancy, my skin is like 
lizard skin. It's so bad. And I have oily skin, so I'm not used to it. Um, and I'll never have to worry about having first trimester skin again, but it is like legit lizard skin. Like I get the driest eyelids so dry they like crack. I get like dry skin around my nose and I needed something that was going to just be so powerful on my skin. And I feel like this Tatcha moisturizer was the only thing that actually helped my skin. So um, I bought this tub, I was, it was like December, early December of last year, right after I had found out I was pregnant with Roman and I noticed those like super dry patches coming back. And I ended up using the full tub of it way after I was already out of my first trimester because a little amount goes a long way. But Tatcha is a very expensive product, but I want y'all to know like I use this for probably like well into like 20, 24, 26 weeks of pregnancy because it lasted me for so, 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 so long, but it still worked with such a small amount. So if you have dry skin, I would say this is a must. I would apply it at night. It is thick and it works and I love it and it's pregnancy safe. So that was just one of the reasons I was like, I need something I've never bought from Tatcha before, but I hear so many good things about it. You know, it's pregnancy safe, let's try it. And I was very, very impressed. And that is it for today's video. Again, I could, like, I really could talk a lot about things from Sephora, but for me, I feel like I always tend to buy skincare and hair care there. So that was why the bulk of what you heard today was skincare and hair care. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. Love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.